Once is bad enough, but multiple concussions can add to the severity of the long-term consequences of brain injury. According to research published in the Journal of Neurotrauma, experiencing several concussions, regardless of a concussion's initial severity, increase the chances of long-term cognitive impairment. The findings stem from the analysis of, of medical and lifestyle data and the results of annual cognitive tests on 15,764 adults between the ages of 50 to 90. Over 40% had experienced at least one traumatic brain injury on average over 30 years before their study participation began. The most common cognitive deficits among participants with a history of TBI were problems with attention and the ability to multitask, or what is known as executive functioning. The ability to complete complex tasks and skills that enable a person to organize their thoughts and activities and manage time efficiently. The study also found that cognitive problems were dose dependent, meaning the effects on long-term cognitive performance increased as the number of concussions increased. The study is entitled Cognitive Domain Deficits in Late Life, Journal of Neurotrauma, published January 27th, 2023. The lead investigator for this study stated, the more times you injure your brain in life, the worse your brain function could be as you age. So what are the implications of this research? For those engaged in high risk activities, such as construction work, where the risk of brain injury is higher than average, and for those engaged in sporting activities, where participants often sustain multiple concussions during their careers, Understanding the dangers of exposing the brain to multiple assaults is important. These findings also have important implications for victims of domestic violence and for those in the military where multiple brain trauma frequently occurs. The message is clear. Any concussion can have serious long-term consequences, but exposing your brain to multiple concussions is a recipe for disaster. Thanks for joining me this week, and I look forward to meeting with you again next week on a new edition of the Brain Injury Insider.